Hi. Hi. Congratulations for the hit. Thank you so much. How is the success treating you? It's treating me well. It's treating all of us very well. As in, we expected that this is going to make big, but then such huge rage in such short span of time, nobody expected. So everybody is quiet in that zone only. So everybody, no. See, I can't. I, I, I'm not understanding how to handle all these things. Suddenly, you know, people are calling me Preeti. They're not calling me Shani, and I love it. Do people call you baby also? Yeah, yeah. They text me like Na Pilla Be. Are they, you serious? Yeah, they, in my photo, they're editing Na Pilla Be, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> suddenly, like everybody is doing that, yeah. and it's. It does not feel ki okay. Why they are saying it feels they have accepted you so warmly, and it makes me feel so happy. I can't tell you. <laughs> are you receiving like hundreds of messages? And yeah, man. Every forget or every like every time I see my phone, there's a new message, and they are taking time and writing all those used paragraphs about the character, about my role, about the Preeti, and they are taking Preeti as you know their their yeah. their figure. So it's like so good. It feels so good that finally they've accepted the role, and they've accepted Preeti. They've accepted me. It feels amazing. <laughs> and uh, why South Indian movies? Where are you originally from? I am originally from Jabalpur, hmm. and uh, there's nothing planned as if I have to do South Indian films or Hindi cinema. Nothing planned. I knew for the fact that I've always wanted to be in movies. and uh, but my parents were like my father especially is very strict so he's like you have to do engineering you have to complete your studies only then we can think of and then at that point of time also he was not agreeing for me to be in films because i did engineering hmm. so at that point of time he was like go take off it jobs and at the point of time i was simultaneously doing theaters also so the only factor that he was making me do theaters was because i was getting good grades So he was like, "Okay, fine, you can continue your theaters, but don't move into films and stuff." But I knew that I had to do films. So there was a point of time where my father was not agreeing at all, and I was in Bombay. I remember you mentioned this in the pre-release event. You said uh, you were a rebel. I see. My father opposed me so much, so much to an extent where I had to write an email to him when I was in Bombay that I'm not coming back. So yeah. he was like, he replied to me in email, "Don't come back." don't talk to us so one span of year i didn't talk to my parents i was not and i wrote all those dialogues that i'm not going to take money i'm not going to so i was like shit i wrote that i'm not going to take money <laughs> now what will i do because yeah. i had a short span i matlab short amount of uh, small amount of money in my account at that point of time and i was like how will i survive because that bombay hmm. you need to pay rent and all i don't know how i did and my father was like completely against you were being arjun reddy <laughs> i am that's why i tell i'm quite like an arjun i have anger issues also so my father didn't understand all these things and then that point of time before only i had signed arjun reddy but it was taking time to you know shoot and all hmm. so my father was like get back to your it job but then i wrote i'll not coming back and all then i came here and now my father has actually seen the film they came for the premiere He's happy and all only. <laughs> so and even when you were shooting, he was against it. Yeah, yeah. We were not talking. We were not oh. on talking terms. I didn't speak to my father uh, since the span of time I started shooting for Arjun Reddy, and before that for six. It Sunday. takes a lot of passion to. I actually. think it is that only. Otherwise, I would have actually complete because I had I was broken. I had no money living in uh, Mumbai. Kind of. I have very good friends. Thank God, and. Uh, that point of time you lose you feel homesick yeah even if whatever it is you've lost um, you've left your family no yeah, you know. feel homesick but that point of time i don't know i think for the love of cinema for the love of i always wanted to, i don't even remember since when i wanted to be an actress so I've, and this interview also i've been giving from since uh, childhood only i used to sit in front of the mirror and give interviews <laughs> i used to play coffee with karan so everything not, these things are not new for me because i've been doing i was imagining that lights are on me cameras are on me i was a cinematic kid and my parents used to feel that she's gone she's all doing the tantrums because she likes wearing clothes or she likes the fame and all but i think it's nothing related to fame or money or anything it is the love of playing different characters being in front of the camera posing acting basically acting now because theater i have done so i felt that now i have immense love for acting 
I can do anything. I can work for 24 into 7. And I can work, work, work and without getting tired. Because you enjoy this. Enjoy that. And I can't have option for that. My father was like, have an option at least. But what my explanation was, ki I can't have an option. See, if I love you, hmm. if, if you're a guy, if I love you, I can't have an option no yeah second option yeah, yeah. Ki if i if this doesn't work i'll go back to him so i explained him to that and explained the exact thing to him so he was like what are you what bullshit are you talking but that's what paid off because you just work towards that yeah and i was like i can't have an option ki if this does not work and why will it not work if you make it happen it happens and that's my belief and even if i f my father was like you dream too much and i dream a lot so it was, I was like, what is the wrong, what is wrong in dreaming? And he didn't understand because he's obviously conservative family yeah. and uh, you know, coming from a government uh, officer background, you want your kid, kids to be in a government office and mm. working IT, but that's nine to five is not. And we have a lot of stereotypes about the industry also. Lot of. So he was very, he was like, this is industry is bad only, they'll treat girls badly. It's nothing like that. Really, I really need to tell people that it's nothing like that. It all, it's, see, these kind of things now, the bad things are there in every industry. Hmm. Even the corporate Depends things. Depends on how you deal with it. Depends on how you deal with If you are very firm on your thing that no is a no, nobody is hmm. going to come and touch you also. Hmm. So, it all depends. So, yeah, so this has been my journey since then. Hmm.